It's been 24 hours since the Broncos surprised the country with a late night announcement that they've found a buyer. And we've learned a lot of new information since then. An heir to the Walmart fortune is eager to hand over $4.6 billion. Rob Walton is the son of Sam Walton, the company's founder. He served as chair of the company's board for 13 years. At age 77, Rob Walton is retired from that role and has a net worth of about $67 billion. The Walton ownership team also includes his daughter, Carrie and her husband and current Walmart board chair Greg Penner. According to the Broncos, Melanie Hobson is also part of the group, an accomplished businesswoman from Chicago who has had board or executive roles with Ariel Investments, Starbucks, and J.P. Morgan Chase. She is also married to filmmaker George Lucas. We have team coverage tonight. Alan Janae breaks down why someone would pay that much money for a football team. <laughs> Want to start, though, with Marissa Armas and the impact on fans and the community. Marissa, early reviews of the winning bidders are positive. Absolutely, Jim. Several people we spoke to today are excited about this sale, but what does it mean for people like you and me? Could we see higher ticket prices or concessions? Well, an expert we spoke to says no. How are you guys? Good. Good. How are you? Good. It's a conversation being had by many around the state. The discussion of new ownership and excitement in that. Coloradans curious to see what the new Denver Broncos ownership will mean for them. After it was announced Walmart heir and billionaire Robson Walton would be the new man running the show. I just hope they can keep good revenue coming through here. And experts say from an economical standpoint, this sale is a win-win. Because we get to keep our team, we have an owner who's never going to ask us for a dollar. I would be surprised if any prices go up. Metro State senior lecturer Darren Duber-Smith says that's because Walton is a billionaire and many billionaires inherit their money and they aren't necessarily interested in turning a profit. They spend most of their time giving it away and running foundations and philanthropies and things like that. They're going to be much more interested in building a, a winning franchise. Duber-Smith says he wouldn't be surprised if later down the road this brings the city a new stadium or even a sports district. But again, us fitting the bill is unlikely. So to have a billionaire that wants to come in and just assume all of the responsibility, I think we hit the lottery. Is that the West Coast? The West Coast. A lottery yeah. that business owners like Jason Bilodeau hope bring more opportunity for businesses like his. We definitely have fans in the area that love the Broncos, so that foot traffic will be great to have around. And Duber Smith says that all of this could really make Denver a world-class city. In Denver, Marissa Armas covering Colorado First.